This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Chicago Bears. now ready to get this one started and off we go from Seattle lock at the return and a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30 yard line
ein. So first and ten now from the 30. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Here's Wilson. Sideline throw, that's caught by Moore. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A very solid gain of 27. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Now Wilson on second down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They're going to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. Third and long, it's Wilson. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Leonard Floyd with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. Front left, front left. 19. Hey, hey. Take that shit, Go it, They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football. Gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. On third down, Trubisky. 
He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up fourth down. So first possession, fourth and short. Field goal's no gimme from here. What do you think about going for it? I'm not just thinking about it. I'm signaling, go for it. Let's get this, all okay. right? Yeah, look, you're right. You know, the field goal is there, but it's not a chip shot. My big thing is opening drive. You're trying to establish momentum. Let's not stall it ourselves. Let's go get this first down and then continue on downfield and try and get a touchdown. Like your confidence. Yeah, why not? Let's go. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Right back to him on first down. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They go play action with Trubisky. Looking for White on the deep ball. And this is caught. It's White for a Bears touchdown. Kevin White, 30 yards. And the Bears have taken the early lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Parky now set to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Well, Charles, the Seattle Seahawks, they were 8-5 and five going into a Week 15 game against the 49ers, a team that they had beaten 10 straight times, and then they lose that game, surprisingly, 26-23, and as they tried to carry momentum toward the playoffs, I was surprised at that outcome. I was beyond surprised. I thought that game was pretty much a lock because of the momentum Seattle was bringing in, the level of play that they were bringing, and you're taking out a team in San Francisco Francisco, who's on their third quarterback. Although that young man, Nick Mullins, has acquitted himself quite well. But now, Seattle's got to sweat it out a little bit. The last couple of weeks of the season, trying to get one of the two remaining wild card spots, they've got Kansas City in a primetime game before they end up in their last game of the season. So look out for Seattle, but at the same time, they've got some work to do. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their 38. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. 
So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And on the stop, it was the UCF product, Shaquem Griffin. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Gun on third down, it's Trudeski. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that play's over. The derriere dips. I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. The screen pass here to Cohen. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Play fake. Here's Trubisky. They'll roll him out right. Eluding the pressure right. Looks for White, but it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Well, partner, league-wide, I think we're set up for a wild month of January. It seems like this season, more than others, we've had a number of teams that you maybe say, hey, they're the Super Bowl favorites. Kind of the Rams early, then it was the Chiefs, Patriots kept winning, and the Saints, and now, heck, maybe even the Texans or the Bears could claim that moniker. Yeah, it's going to make for a wild month of January. And you just wonder right now, are we missing a team or two that's just a little bit outside the playoff hunt? Could they get hot and be those teams you don't want to play and carry that momentum all the way to the Super Bowl? Yes, I'm looking at the Indianapolis Colts as one of those teams. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, oh, able to affect the play. Be alert, be alert. 14. Gotta go, gotta go. Tempo, tempo. Three, nine, six. Second and 10, it's Wilson again. Position on him, and he pulls it in. That one goes for 24 yards. The last drive, he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know there isn't a quarterback in this league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game at the end. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. This is Carson, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through. 
and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. First and 10 right at the 20. Here's Carson, and he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Back to Century Link Field after this. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Zebra, zebra. Tight. Green 80. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Got it, got it, got it. 25, 25. Gotta go, gotta go. Fair, fair. Don't take forever, okay? They snap it at one. Now Wilson being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. Here's Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. And Dixon, a five-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The NFC North champion Chicago Bears, they take the field here again on offense. Their first division title this year since 2010. They clinched it back in Week 15 with that victory over Green Bay. Of course, Green Bay's had their number, especially in recent years. But what a season it's been for Chicago. And when you think about their previous four years, 5-11, and 6-10, 3-13, and 5-11 and and again in 2017, now they'll have at least one home game in Soldier Field in January. This is a big turnaround. And I'd say go ahead and engrave the Coach of the Year award to Matt Nagy, their head coach. And it also will seal hirings going forward. Sean McVay with the Rams in 2017. Matt Nagy with the Bears in 2018. Look for those offensive guys to get the first crack at these jobs. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Flushed out right. The catch made by Miller. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw it back deep. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The gain of 39 that time. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. They go play action here on first down. Buying time to his left. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. 
So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Again on second and ten, it's Trubisky escaping the pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And this one will be brought back to the 22. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. After the interception, here's Wilson. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Adrian Amos with a pick. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And some room to maneuver. Touchdown, Chicago! A great effort there, as the first half is winding down, and the Bears are in for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front, and now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And yeah, they drop him for a loss, but penalty markers are on the field. Let's see about the call. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to air this out for Baldwin. And this one is incomplete. So we've hit intermission. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. 
And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now Trubisky to throw on second. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Bobby Wagner coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And a hook up here to Allen Robinson. And all the way down to the 39. Trubisky hitting Robinson for a big one. 46 yards. That was a nice pickup. Some chunk yardage there. Some of those big yards downfield with a little bit of rack thrown in there. A little run after catch. And it came on a crossing route. I can just hear one of my friends who won four Super Bowls as a quarterback always said the same thing. What route does the defense hate? Crossing route. Hate it, change direction when they get going full speed in the other way. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. On second down, here's Trubisky. Dancing to his left. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. They'll set up the screen to Howard, and he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. The first down screen pass, good for five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. The Bears on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Now Trubisky to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And Parkey's kick is good. And now it's a two-score game at nine, 16 to seven. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown and they wear down a defense. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. 
try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him. Blitz coming and down he goes. Eddie Goldman busting throw to get him for a loss of six. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. Go, no, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to have to put a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> he finds his man, Baldwin. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Now it's Carson, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. On third down, that's Carson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He lost two, and it brings up four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Wilson going to lead his guys up first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Here's Wilson to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. You got to give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. 14, 14. Again on second and 10, it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time as... This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, Wilson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there and also a first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. The lock it with a grab over the middle. Oh, no, he lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drop. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. They go with Howard to begin the drive. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the eight. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On second down, Trubisky. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On third down, this is Howard. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And down he'll go at the 25. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky flushed out right. He completes it right side to White. That one goes for 24 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, <laughs> stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Shaquille Griffin in on the stop defensively. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. Think it's intercepted. Now Wilson down around his goal line. Flush to his right, and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. 95, 95. Throwing now is Wilson. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there, and it's third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Here's Wilson. He throws there incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Well, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. 19. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it. 
with such little time remaining. And my goodness, that means this next drive will begin four yards from the end zone already. So this one fairly well in the bag as they take over with a first and goal. Looky here, Trubisky wants to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing the incompletion. Yeah, Coach Ford would have loved that play. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes. Folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of two, now third down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. This stadium once registered as the loudest roar ever recorded, and you can hear them now, third and goal. Here's Trubisky, and he's got it. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough, fourth and goal. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Parkey's kick is good. And that will give him a 12-point lead. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. No, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Wilson. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 23 yards on the play. First down now, but that clock rolling. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Field now. Here's Wilson. And the tight end Dixon left side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Now Wilson on first down. 
And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Wilson will throw again. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Snags it for the pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, Charles, after that interception in the Super Bowl from the one-yard line, I thought Pete Carroll would run it inside the five every time. Sometimes I wonder if maybe Pete did want to run it inside the five. But Russell Wilson, you know he's such a competitor that he doesn't want that interception to stand. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down to the 39. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Oh, Trubisky going to throw. He's going to air one out. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Brad McDougal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. Boy, people are really happy about those picks. Any fantasy team that has this defense. Well, Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, oh, that's a fantastic feeling. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles David. Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Seattle.